Hey guys, what's up? Chris Roder here. Um, I got a, I get asked a lot about um, bill of sales. So I figured I'd make a video over this specifically and um, why I always go in from every customer, um, you know, and the reasons that I do it, uh, safety precautions that, you know, it uh, gives. And I know I'm going to get some negative flack on this from, you know, people in the industry, which is totally fine. I mean, you got, we all have our own opinions. Um, but I have, you know, personal experience with a lot of this, um, especially when it comes to legal matters. Um, so, and I'll go over that a little bit, but, um, so one reason we get bill of sales, the first reason is number one, um, honestly, guys, bill of sales deter people from trying to sell us stolen stuff. That's the first thing that it does. Like, as soon as you ask somebody basically for their driver's license number, um, they are going to, you know, they're going to be a little hesitant unless you ask it the right way. Okay. So, um, but also whenever you ask it correctly, it deters the right people away. Okay. The right people I mean, mean criminals basically. Um, so the way that I always ask and, and present the bill of sale is always before I do meetups with people. So I'll, what I'll do is I use what's called the um, the sandwich method that I teach my students and it works insanely well. Uh, what we do is we say like this, awesome, whenever you come, please make sure we can erase the device. Um, and also whenever you come, please bring a valid ID for the bill of sale. Can't wait to earn your business. The reason I say it like that is because it's a positive, negative, positive, right? So, um, and that works really well. Uh, especially the last part. I can't wait to earn your business. That works really, really well. The second reason that um, I do a bill of sale is to protect myself. Um, there have been instances where people have sold me stolen stuff. I've, you know, I've had to talk to detectives and police officers before after I've bought something and I had a bill of sale with me um, from the person that I purchased it from. I mean, there was one instance where a guy was stealing phones from Walmart. He worked at Walmart and he was stealing phones and then selling them to me um, as used devices. So um, luckily I had a bill of sale for every transaction that we did. Um, luckily it wasn't a huge amount, but you know, he had to pay restitution and I was just doing business. And there was also no way I could have known. They weren't new in box. They weren't uh, anything like that. He made them look used. So it was a pretty elaborate scheme. <laughs> um, I guess not that elaborate, but um, that's one reason. And then the third reason I now do a bill of sale is to collect the, the customer's info so that I can get into contact with them later. I now do this through resale deck. So I used to use a bill of sale. It looks like this. I'm going to hide the customer's info. Um, but I used to use uh, ones that look like this, right? So it just shows the date, uh, what, what the device was, what it sold for. And then they had to sign everything at the bottom. And that's also where I collected their uh, driver's license number and things like that. Never. And I got hundreds of these. I got to keep them for a few years, but um, I have hundreds at this point. And um, when I say, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If you do it correctly, I mean it. I literally have hundreds of these. I have a this whole thing right here. This entire binder is bill of sales, the entire thing. So when I say if you ask it correctly and do it correctly, people won't get upset at you for asking for their driver's license number and stuff. Okay. So, but the third reason I do it, like I said, is to collect their, their information. Now I collect their email and I collect their phone number now. And this is mostly to, um, to, uh, follow up with them at this point. And also, so I only have to do the bill of sale once, right? Especially with resale deck, because now I can just put the notes in on what I bought from the person, how much profit I made from them. And, and now I get to keep track of that customer along with all of the information that I need unless, you know, in case something goes wrong, right? Cool thing about the bill of sale, um, and you guys can actually access uh, a bill of sale, a free one um, on reselldeck.com. So let me do that for you guys real quick. <gasps> Um, so if you go to reselldeck.com slash bill of sale, bill, not bill of ale, bill of sale, uh, you can find a, well, 
Oh, that's because I spelled it wrong. There we go. So you guys can actually get a bill of sale, a digital one. And what this one does is it'll actually text um, the information to you. Uh, that way you can screenshot it and save it. If you get the full thing of resale deck, uh, it actually timestamps everything for you and stuff like that. It's pretty great. Um, and it also puts people in a 12 month follow-up sequence as well. So, but this is everything that it takes. If, uh, this is where you put your phone number for your records, customer's full name, driver's license number, what device is it, uh, the date it was sold, the amount it was sold for, and then the uh, IMEI for the devices. And then you have the, um, you have the person who you're buying from check saying that it is theirs to sell. And then they sign right there. Right. So that's how that works. This is essentially how the one on resale deck works, but uh, you know, it actually saves it to your files on resale deck um, inside of the platform um, for later uses. And, you know, just to make it easy. It also, to, like I said, it timestamps it too. So, but um, there's multiple reasons to use a bill of sale. Number one, guys, it is for your protection. Okay. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that disagree with this video and that's okay. Right. I am okay with that. Um, I've been doing this for years. This is my personal opinion. Um, it will help you in a bind most of the time. Now, I do have to put a disclaimer here. If you are knowingly buying stolen property, a bill of sale will not save you. It won't do it. Okay. Um, it just won't. <laughs> like if you're, for example, if you are buying 10 sealed you know, iPhone 13 Pro Maxes or something, um, you, it's quite obvious you're usually committing fraud, like along with the other person. Even if you buy from the person that's actually committing fraud, you are also, uh, you know, in that fraud most of the time. Okay. So there are discrepancies and things there, but a bill of sale will not save you in a circumstance like that. Or if you buy a blacklisted or stolen phone, it won't save you there. Um, especially if it was already blacklisted when you bought it. So just be aware, guys. I mean, just be careful. Um, there's a free bill of sale for you guys right there. If you guys want the full thing, you can check it out on Resale Deck. Um, Resale Deck is a 14-day trial, 97 a month. It's the leading software for resellers on the market, the only one that I know of. Um, and it does everything. It helps you guys grow and scale. So um, anyway, guys. That's my bill of sale stuff. Um, somebody asked me to make something about that. So uh, I did. So enjoy. <laughs>